Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm your visual captain Kylie Hirasawa and I'll be introducing some stretches to you guys. You can follow along and practice these at home. By the end of this video, you should know how to warm up your body, twist for sliding, get used to being on your platform, and improve your core strength. The first stretch is the beach ball stretch. This usually starts off our warm up before marching. In order to start this stretch, place your feet into tracking. After placing your feet into tracking, roll your upper body down for 8 counts, reaching your toes by count 8. After reaching your toes, hold your body at this position for another 8 counts. During this time, continue to try and reach farther down closer to your toes, and if you're flexible, closer to the ground. After holding for 8 counts, roll your body back up to the position you started in and make sure to use all 8 counts. The reason why we do this stretch is to stretch your back and help your body relax before we do other exercises. To ensure you are doing this stretch, try to imagine holding a beach ball, keeping your back round as you roll down and slowly roll back up. Now, let's try this stretch together. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we have the point and flex exercise. The point of this exercise is to stretch your calves. Once again, please place your feet into tracking. Starting with your left foot, slide your foot directly from tracking feet with a point for one count, then flex your foot during the next count. When I say flex, I mean bringing your heel down as much as you can. During the third count, point your toe again before sliding your foot back into tracking feet. You will then repeat the same movements, but now using your right foot. Think point, flex, point, slide. After doing a couple of reps of this, move your feet into a tension. This should follow the same steps, but you are moving your foot out the same angle as your feet. should be around 45 degrees to the right or the left of you, depending on which foot you are stretching. Let's try this exercise together. Point. Flex, point, slide. Moving on to the next foot, point, flex, point, slide. Moving on to the twist stretch. This stretch works on twisting your torso, which helps your sliding technique. In this exercise, you will start at attention. Use four counts to lock into a horns up position, then hold your body at horns up for four counts. Remember, your arms should be at the triangular shape keeping your shoulders relaxed but your core engaged. Now twist the left in four counts as if you're doing a slide. Hold this position for four counts. During this stretch, only your upper body should be moving. Make sure to keep your horns up at the correct position in front of you. After holding for four counts, move back to the center slowly in four counts. You will then once again hold for four counts, twist to the right in four counts, and hold at this position for four counts again. Finally, you will move back to the center in another four counts. You will then return to attention using four counts, ending the stretch. This should get you more comfortable while you're sliding. One, two, three, four, lock, hold, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lock, hold, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lock, hold, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lock, hold, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lock, hold, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lock. Our fourth stretch is called calf raises. You can start this stretch while in tracking or at attention feet. However, I recommend trying this stretch at both so you can get used to these exercises. To begin this stretch, lift your left leg to your calf in four counts. On the first count, make sure to go onto your platform. Hold this position for 12 counts, and after those 12 counts, bring your left leg back down in four counts, returning your heel back to the ground on count three. Repeat these steps on the opposing leg. This stretch will really help you with balance and platforming. Skills are especially important during backwards marching. Make sure to use your core as it will give you support. And with me, one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, down, two, three, four. 
Our last exercise is planks. Since having a strong core is extremely important during marching band, doing planks is a great way to improve your core. Try doing short planks. They can be just 30 seconds long to help you support your playing and marching. Just use a timer on your phone and start planking. Some pointers to ensure you are using the right form is that your body should be low and your butt shouldn't sag or stick up. If you're doing it the right way, your shoulders shouldn't hurt. After doing this exercise, make sure to stretch out your upper body so you don't get any injuries. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Keep practicing and don't forget to do these stretches.